Hi, it's Mrs Openshaw here. I'm just going to speak to you about A-level drama. Just go through with you about the syllabus, the units, what you'll be studying and that kind of thing. OK, so there are three units for A-level. Unit one is the devising units. So this is where you get to make up your own play. Now, as a starting point for the project, we will choose a play and then we will pick out an extract from the play and use that as our starting point really and we will also choose a practitioner to go alongside that so some of you are familiar with practitioners from doing work either at key stage three or key stage four brecht stanislavski frantic assembly with the physical theatre work that we've done and there are all sorts of practitioners so hopefully we'll learn we'll get the chance to learn about some new practitioners as well. Now you keep a logbook similar to at GCSE where you explain about how you've explored and developed your piece of work and then you get a mark for your performance in the piece as well. So that's very much a group effort though you do get marked individually. So, for example, just so that you've got an example of the kind of work, one of my groups one year, they did a piece from a play called The Fear of Breathing by and uh, that was all about refugees, Syrian refugees. And then they developed that into looking at um, a teenage girl and her experience of um her experience of growing up and the choices that she had to make and, and that kind of thing. And they used Arto as their practitioner. So it was a really intense performance. And they actually performed it in the theatre, but in the proscenium arch part. So that it was quite a confined space and it was really clever, very quite a creepy mood and atmosphere that they created. It was really good. So you can really use your imagination with that unit. Unit two is where you do a group performance from a script. So similar to at GCSE when you do your scripted work. And then alongside the group performance, you will also do a monologue or a duologue. We tend to just to do a monologue. And then that's assessed by a, a visiting examiner who comes to the school. One of the group performances that we've done in the past is was a, a very funny play. All about um, a woman and her husband who aren't getting on very well. And um, she invites round his ex-wife and his her whole plan is to kill him. And it's really very dark play but very funny as well and we used really over the top costumes and because there was the real theme of jealousy we had green lights and and green costumes it was really clever very atmospheric and the students got in the top band um they did really well um and then we've got unit three which is the written paper and it's a it's a big paper. It's two and a half hours. I'm you know I'm not going to try and make that light and fluffy. It's it is hard, uh, but it's really fun because a lot of the work that we do towards the written paper is practical because it's all about understanding the plays that you're writing about in the exam. So first of all, you will write about a play that you've seen at the theatre. Fingers crossed we're going to be able to go to the theatre and um, when things are back to normal, it would be fantastic and you'll get to write uh, a theatre evaluation. So you make notes on the production and practice essays ready for the exam. You also, there are two plays that you study um, and one of them you study and then you write about how you would act it out. Um, they, you are given an extract from the performance text in the exam, very similar to how we've done Blood Brothers. You write about that extract in terms of how you would perform it. You then, your other play that you study, it, you study it alongside a theatre practitioner. So we'll choose a play and a practitioner that goes really well with that play. 
and you have questions again about how you would put the play on uh, for a contemporary audience, for an audience today. <clears throat> now, those two scripts that we study for that unit come from a list from the examining board. So we look at the list, we think, what plays do we think we'd like? There's a really big range of choices and we, we can choose things that are going to be appropriate for the group. Uh, so what I also want you to think about is what are you looking to go on to do? Drama can really make a difference in terms of whatever course you're going on to do. Um, it, it's There are lots of different career paths that you can go down, teaching, it might be you really want to be a professional actor, it might be that you want to go into television or media, uh, it might be that you are studying drama alongside something like English and that's something that you want to, with both those subjects, you want to go on and do those at university. Drama looks great on your CV, it really does, it goes so well with so many other subjects and it can really open doors. Um, I think employers, universities look very fa favourably on drama because they can really see that you have been given the opportunity to work in groups to really develop your confidence and to, to be creative in your thinking. Even if you're doing sciences, if you have something alongside like drama, it shows that you can be a creative thinker. And actually, you need to be a creative thinker not just in the arts, but also in science. So do think about that. If drama is something that you are kind of thinking about, but you're wondering whether it goes well with your other subjects, do bear that in mind. OK, everyone, I just also get in touch if you want to ask any questions. I'm more than happy to chat about the course in a little bit more detail. I'll see you soon. Bye.